There was once a kid who felt the need to express himself, and he thought that the best way was to grab a sword and fight for justice. Nobody told him not to, but nobody told him he should either. He felt that he had to do something, and every day he would train and train and train, hoping that one day he could become that soldier that he visualized himself as. But the day he was going to go out, when he was trying to open that door, a man stopped him. He grabbed his sword and exchanged it for a pen. And he said, words may pierce the skin, but words can pierce the hearts. If you want to fight for justice, you don't have to destroy your own brothers or sisters because justice is equality and equality is when everyone receives the same amount of love, no more, no less. So if what you want in life is justice, you should do it from a place of love and not from a place of hate. If what you want in life is justice, you should not come without compassion, without understanding. You should not come with passion either because those who fight with emotions are weaker than those who fight with no emotions. Because emotions trick you. See, emotions are just demons telling you what you should do, but not what you must do. They don't understand you. They tell you what they think is best for you. But when you become a wise man, young lad, you will understand that a wise man appears to have no emotions, but he feels all of them. A wise man is aware and conscious of his own weaknesses and demons. A wise man knows but feels and a wise man acts. The young lad, confused, asked the man, and how is that different from what I do? I know what I want to do, I know what I feel, and I am aware of my feelings. I know that I want to fight. I know that I want to destroy these people. And I, yes, I fight for love because I love my country, and I love everyone around me, and I love my... And he stopped. When he looked around, there was nobody. The man was gone, but he still had the pen in his hand. He felt anger, he felt sadness. He didn't really understand who he was. So he sat down and started writing and writing and writing. And one day he woke up as a wise man realizing that there was never a wise man that exchanged his sword for a pen. But in fact, it was himself. It was himself. Because we are all wise inside. Because we are all conscious of what we can and we can't do. Because we all want to fight for justice and we all believe that the only way to fight is through violence. But sometimes, sometimes fights come from love and peace. Sometimes the strongest fighter is a teacher. Sometimes the strongest is the one who appears the weakest. Some say that loving is one of the weakest things a man can do. Some say that loving is one of the things that makes society so corrupt because those who love are innocent, imbeciles that can't realize the corruption, the hatred, the agony of the world. But now let me tell you something. What is harder to do? 
to hate everyone, to hate yourself, to destroy your family, to destroy everything that you supposedly stand for, or love, despite the agony, despite the hatred, despite the corruption, to have the strongest will to say that I love you even despite of your mistakes. I love you even if you destroyed my family. I love you even if you do not agree with me. Which is the weakest? The one who criticizes or the one who does not judge, who prevents himself or herself to emit the comment of judgment because he and she knows that it's all bullshit. That we all say that we are different, but we are just the same. That we all put our labels on us, but we all know that we all feel the same. We claim that we are different because our egos are just screaming at the top of their lungs with their feelings and we are just feeling like this is the way it should be. Just because some fucking chemicals make us feel that way. But the truth of the matter is that those who love are those who are making justice. And those who make justice are fighting. And those who are fighting sometimes are not even recognized. Just because someone is not on the streets yelling at somebody else does not mean that they're not fighting. Just because someone is not paying attention to the news every day does not mean that they're not fighting. Just because someone is not expressing themselves about something does not mean that they're not fighting. Because a child who wanted to play football and can't because a bomb just blew up in the middle of their house is fighting. Because someone who feels depression is fighting. Because someone who doesn't even know who they are and they are crying every single night because they don't understand what the fuck they want with their life is fighting. And if you can't see that, then you need to start loving. Because when you love, you understand what fighting is. Fighting is not just what you see in the fucking media. Fighting is not going out there and destroying a government. Fighting is not just being against somebody else. Sometimes fighting means support. Sometimes fighting means standing there, holding on, knowing that shit might not even change. But you still will stay there. Because you know that perhaps someday you will feel happy. Perhaps someday that person will survive. People are so caught up in this fucking bullshit narrative that things have to be just the way that everybody else says. That the political parties have the reason that everybody knows what they do, but nobody knows a fucking thing. So if you feel like I do, if you feel that you're not fighting, well, let me correct you. You are fighting. Your life is a fight. Your decisions, the things you want to make. Because trust me, being yourself in a circumstance where you can't even express yourself is deadlier than getting shot. Because getting shot hurts, but you heal. But when you fight yourself, you're constantly killing yourself and your dreams. You're committing mass genocide without option just because you fear rejection. So what's worse, killing the future or killing the present? It's murder, anyway. See, I used to believe that I had to be a fighter. I used to believe that I had to be a soldier. I used to believe that I had to fight and destroy everyone and everything. Because I hate everyone and I hate everything. I hate injustice. I hate the shit that's going on in the world. I hate the shit that's going on in my country. I hate when people are not even paying attention to their loved ones. I hate when my family doesn't give a fuck. I hate when my friends don't do the things that I need. I hate so many things. I hate myself. I hate the things that I can't do. I hate that I, I always put excuses to the shit that I should do. But that's easy. Everyone can fucking hate. Hell, if I can do it, anyone can. So what's the challenge? The challenge is simple. The challenge is that you just, you just, you must just be yourself. Because when you are yourself, you change everything. See, this matrix is built upon mass. And by mass, I mean that whatever the masses are doing is right. And whatever they're not doing is wrong. 
If you do not appeal to the masses in some way, you will be judged. But guess what? If you do what you have to do, not only will you change the masses, but you will change yourself. And I'm not saying this as if you're looking for fame, money, pussy, and power, because that's bullshit. I'm saying that we are all connected. You are connected to everyone and everything. And life is beautiful. And if life is beautiful, you are also beautiful. And the shit you want is beautiful. And if you want to do something, do it. Not because somebody else has proven it or disapproving it, but because you need it and the world needs you. See, imagine if every single football player did not play. Imagine if every artist did not perform. Imagine if every scientist did not research. Imagine if every... It's just fucking ridiculous. We believe that the only people that matter are fucking soldiers. Why the fuck do we think that when every single person is fighting their own shit? Why don't we see that everyone is doing their own shit? Why do we continue this narrative where we believe that the only way to make the world progress is through fucking aggression? When in fact it all goes back to regression. What I'm trying to say is that I don't want to fight unless I am loving first. I don't want to do anything unless I am loving first. Because love is the strongest energy in the universe. As cliche as that sounds, I don't give a fuck. To me, it's my reality. And if you don't like it, fine, fuck you. But to me, I feel it. And when I feel the support of people, when I support someone, when I help, when I express myself, when I connect to people, when I just drop the guns and see that people are just fucking suffering, when I do that, fuck man, I feel like God. Fuck that, I feel omnipresent. I understand everything. Because I connect and I understand that we are just more than this shit. That we are not some fucking labels fighting against each other. That we are not some political parties. That we are not colors. We are not fucking anything. We are everything. We are everything. So is the, if there is one last thing that I can say for this manifesto, it's the following. What do I do? I teach and inspire people through consciousness changing experiences. Because I want to change the world. But I know that I can't change the world by myself. The only thing that I can do, and I do express, expressively, and experience, ah, fuck, perfectly well, is helping other people. And making them laugh. And making them love. And making them think. And shit, I love doing that. I don't give a fuck if I cannot take down a government. Fuck that. I'd rather build the people up. Because guess what? There's enough people who can fight. But not many people who can teach. And I consider myself a teacher. I consider myself a motivator. I consider myself someone who builds. I'm not disapproving what other people are doing. I'm just saying that if I'm going to do something for these people, I'm going to help them out. I'm going to support them. I'm going to build them up. I'm going to inspire millions. I'm going to fucking change the world in my way. Because if I do what everybody else is asking me, the world is fucked. Because if I think all of the people that will not get my help, just because I thought that it would be better to take a bullet for a goddamn party instead of doing the things that I knew I do best, Shit, man, I'd rather shoot myself first. I'm not saying that fighting for a country or fighting for what you believe in is wrong. All I'm saying is that we all have different ways of fighting. And not everyone is ready to take a bullet. And not everyone has to take a bullet. In fact, nobody should, should take a fucking bullet to begin with. But some people have the courage to do that, and I appreciate that. And I know that someday I will have the balls to do that as well. But since I don't, and I admit that, and I understand my weaknesses, and I understand my demons, and I understand where I stand, I will not give up on what I want to do. Because I want to help. I am sensitive. When you see me cold and ignoring everything, it's not because I don't feel, but because I feel way too much, more than you can actually think. When people were angry, I was crying because I felt the anger. I felt the agony. I felt 
how everyone feels trapped. And the only reason why I try to be happy is because I know that if I have positive vibes, I can make other people feel better. But if I don't, everyone is fucked. See, I see everyone as my children, as my family, and I don't want to see my family sad. So if I don't want to see them sad, I myself have to be a positive person. And I can't be a positive person if I myself consume myself every fucking day with the same fucking media telling myself the same fucking story. I know that the world is fucked up. I know that there's people dying. I know that there's famine in the motherfucking world. But what can I do about it if I come from a place of chaos? I can't do shit. So if I'm happy, it's not because I'm trying to ignore everything. At least not now. At least not in this moment. Maybe it will happen again. Maybe I'll be just derail and forget the fucking world once again and just start talking about dumb shit, not really caring about anything. But now, at this precise moment, I am happy. And I have no fucking reason why not to be. Because life is beautiful. People are beautiful and the world is beautiful despite all its fucking problems and I love it. I love the people. I love the things that I supposedly hated. Want to know why? Not because I'm some ignorant, innocent bullshit, but because I say that despite all of your errors, despite all of the shit you have done, despite everything, I still can't see the beauty in you. I still can see the innocent child that you once were and that you are still. And that's what moves me as a teacher, as a motivator, as a writer, as an artist, as whatever the fuck you can label me, because I don't have no fucking labels. What I do is love. What I do is fight for justice. What I do is be disciplined. What I do is be wiser every day. What I do is keep on my spiritual path. And I didn't do this to ignore the world. At least not now, because from now on, from now on, I fight my own fight. And I do this because I want to make the world a better place. So from now on, you can call me whatever the fuck you want, but I know who I am and I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm feeling. And I know what I know. And nobody has a fucking right to tell that otherwise. I do not feel guilty. And I will not go without a fight. But guess what? I don't have to be a soldier to win a war. I'm smarter than that. See, some people want to fight one on one. I want to fight no one. I want to unite people. And I know I can't do that. At least not in my lifetime. But I will, in the future, my legacy, or whatever the fuck is left, will. Because this is not my fight, this is our fight. And I know that I'm not alone when I say this. So this might be a long rant or some bullshit, innocent scenario that I paint. But from now on, I promise that I will fight. Not for me, not for you, but for everyone. For those who like me and those who don't. For those who are doing good and those who are doing bad. For those who are fucking murderers. And those who are loving their children every day. Because everyone matters. And I know that deep down, we all the fucking same. And that's all. So what do I do? And who am I? My name is Daniel Abraham Fernandez Regalado. Or you can call me Holy Daniel Abraham. And what I do is teach and inspire people through consciousness changing experiences in order to change the world. Thank you for listening.